Rage 2 is a game of two halves, likely due to the combined involvement of Rage's original developer id Software and Just Cause team Avalanche Software. Rage was a story of untapped potential, an often raucous time let down by a handful of serious faults, and it seemed as though the union of developers would give Rage 2 an identity lacking in its overlooked predecessor. But while the shooting excels, often creating a veritable playground of violent opportunities, the forced open world, unengaging side activities and a notable lack of polish serve to temper your enjoyment to an extent. It's disappointing, but those with the capacity to overlook some lacking aspects may find solace in its gleefully outrageous combat. The good news is that its penchant for outstanding shooting is on show here, taking elements from games like Doom 2016 and adding new kinks to create a brutally satisfying shooting engine. Rage 2 has a sense of speed and momentum to it, allowing you to float gracefully around combat arenas with rapid aiming. This is coupled with some outstanding weaponry including the powerful combat shotgun, boomerang wingstick, flame inducing firestorm revolver and chargeable hyper cannon, almost all of which reduces the slew of goons and mutants to viscera. Combat is challenging at points, with large numbers of enemies often assaulting you at once. You have a neat trick in the form of overdrive, which increases your weapon power exponentially Every tool in your arsenal can be upgraded, adding potent buffs such as extra overdrive gained from health pickups, and secondary weapon fire begs experimentation for those looking to chew through gradually tougher enemies quicker, as once you find your flow, enemies start donning armour and more potent attacks. If we were judging Rage 2 on its shooting alone, it excels. Ah, you again. With sensuous kill skills like yours, the arena is always welcoming. <laughs> go! Go ahead! Unfortunately, everything else tying this one together is quite a step down. Surprisingly suffering the same issues as its predecessor, the open world aspects of Rage 2 are dull especially with so much competition within the genre. The dull brown of the landscape, a lack of truly memorable locales, and robotic feeling interactions with NPCs makes exploration unfulfilling to an extent. Driving continues to play a key role, including a special race event, and travelling proves serviceable if long-winded. The litany of side content becomes repetitive long before you complete it all, as you're forced to clear out similar looking mutant nests, blast largely indistinguishable authority towers, and take down identical convoys. The sole highlight is Mutant Bash TV, a couple of combat arenas which play to the game's strength, the shooting. The story missions, while often tightening focus and letting you unleash true power, also require improving your reputation levels, and as a consequence, completing side missions too. Something which feels like padding to a 6-8 to eight hour game. Even the story itself, admittedly the gameplay's highlight, does little to keep you engaged, with threadbare ties to the first game and a generic plot that feels wafer thin. Rage 2's flexible structure, while not helped by lacklustre sandbox design, does provide interesting room to grow. Ranger Walker 
earns both new weaponry and special abilities through arcs located across the districts of the wasteland. While you can theoretically play a lot of the campaign without touching most of these, you'll find exploring arcs and growing your arsenal is both satisfying and worthwhile. Many of the weapons are completely optional, offering potential for different types of playthrough runs. As for abilities, you can acquire a powerful slam move, a vortex singularity, and movement boons such as double dash and super sprint. So though players could rush through the story, these do at least add some satisfying questing outside of the story missions, and prove the lone highlight in this sandbox. The gameplay is a mixed bag, and this extends to the presentation too. While certain angles can paint a pretty picture, much of Rage 2 is unflattering and sometimes dated, with blurred texturing on key characters coming off as poor show. Performance is mostly smooth at least, and some decent fire effects and visually distinct trade towns add some personality. Voice work is mostly nondescript adding little character to the slew of townsfolk you meet, but the gargled screams of mutants and the soundtrack which mixes techno beats and forceful metal tracks are good. But bugs and laziness, such as recycled NPCs, sound cutting out, and even hard crashes are very disappointing and do little to help Rage 2's woes. Ultimately, Rage 2 is quite the mixed bag, almost like Two-Face in video game form. On the one hand, the visual shooting is genuinely excellent, with potent upgrades and potential for over-the-top violence prove compelling when at the front. But on the other hand, Rage 2 is bogged down by a completely uninviting world, one which certainly has plenty to do, just not much of it very memorable outside of core gunplay. You can only shoot down laser towers so many times before it becomes boring. Those yet to wane off the multitude of sandbox games available this generation will probably find Rage 2 does little for them. Yet, if you can overlook these issues, it has to be said that the shooting almost makes slogging through this content worth it. For all Times a whiner. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> After all, your uselessness is what once spared my life. Mm. <laughs> 